initializing caution files. Please stand by. What is up everyone? My name is Caution and today, once again, I've got a nice legacy cast prepared for you guys as we're going all the way back to 2016 where Raggle Season 1 occurred. Now, I've got two games lined up for you guys and it is between Murto and I believe he's Dutch or maybe, maybe German, but I believe the correct pronunciation is Klaas for that. So, we have Murto versus Klaas and let's just get straight into it this is the first game that is played on Orlord. and wow believe it or not yes that is true back in the day um this was for quite some seasons but only the masters division started with unexplored map if i recall correctly and we have class i believe this is class yes class starting in the top left and our good friend Murto is starting in the bottom right. Starting as Soviets and going straight for a dog to check what's going on on the other side. That's pretty interesting and also very interesting to notice is that back in the day during these seasons is that there wasn't really any custom maps so they just went with the official pool and this one was <laughs> This one was a really um, favorite pick, if I if I recall correctly. I believe Triple TP, our statistics man, has um, shared a lot of these, and I believe, if I recall correctly, this one was yeah was picked by a lot of people. Very popular. So, unfortunately, that dog got crushed underneath the wheels of the ore truck from Klaus, and Klaus is now pumping out some infantry so very interesting that he went for ref over racks first especially on a very small map like this could have potentially ended in disaster really soon if Murto just spammed rifles to the fullest and killed the PP would have been game over right there so far these boys are going to chill and now we're sh we should have a look at how Open RA looked back in the day. Still have the statistic screen. The old one. I believe, like, I feel like there is some sort of value in this, the way I look at it. Like, I feel this was more intended to work for uh, bigger team games because you have the option here to be able to scroll. So, if there were a lot of people, that would make sense. However, if we look at it now, it's it's much more subtle, especially if you're watching replays of 1v1s or 2v2s for that matter. Here comes the APC, almost crushes all of the rocket soldiers that were that were approaching. Luckily, Klaus has a lot more. But the APC is empty though, so not really a threat for Klaus. And okay, Klaus is going in aggressive, using the harvester as well. Which is tactics that we still see uh, being used to this day. Especially because if you're going for an expansion and you want an eco slide. Some people bring their harvesters along just for that early engagement. And don't forget a harvester has heavy armor. And a lot of HP. So it's not that, of a, that much of a weird decision to bring your harvester along. And that is exactly what Murtor is doing as well as a last resort. Getting a lot of crushes, but Klaus has a lot of rockets, but I don't believe he's going to get... No, he's not going to get the MTV in time at all. Rifles are here to clean up the mess. And the only thing that that did for Klaus is that it disrupted Murto's eco for now. Three harvest... All of his har harvesters were not working. So uh, yeah, huge deal. Let's see how that is looking for Murto's... Yeah, like I said. No cash, stalling, and he has half the income calculated right now, because not working at all. So here is Klaus, enjoying that little advantage, moving out the main MCV. Hmm. If I were him, I would have even been a little bit more aggressive and put the MCV over here. Because now it is pretty much 
a contested patch, but class is still pumping out rifles and rockets moving up the aggression here i'm surprised that murto is not producing but yeah he's probably still in troubles in terms of cash because he's still using harvesters to crush but regardless they're doing a pretty good job the threat has been eliminated worker class unite and there's the flame tower to give these hard-working guys a break in terms of taking care of defense and also murto being on five harvesters so Seems like he was going for a really greedy build. Oh, even one more. But Klaus is pretty much at the same amount. And he's still pumping out units. But very interesting, like there's... It's an interesting build and I don't disagree with this build. It's a very small map. You don't really need an SD or an extra MCV until maybe later on to contest this area. Light tank coming in from Klaus, he's pumping out more. And very interesting to note about tanks back in the day is the reason that they didn't get used that much is because tanks needed to stand still for shooting, basically, as you can see here, not making it ideal to face rocket soldiers compared to the present time, basically, because now you can just drive while shoot, evade rockets while doing so, and making tanks a lot more useful. But Klaus is relentless here. He just has the better eco. He's probably, yeah, I was about to say filthy rich, but he's not. But Murto might be able to come back from this because he is starting to come out on top a little bit in terms of defense. Klaus is doing some nice job with the base crawling taking control over this patch and he's doing a good job harassing back and forth from one side to the other trying to disrupt eco but there's the tesla coil and look at the tesla coil look at the range man it's pretty insane if you ask me Klaus doing a good job just barely standing outside of it okay never mind Small multi-prong going on here. Will he get the harvester? Ooh, no, he will not. Did get one har harvester though. Second MCV coming out from Klaus. But I believe he's probably going to be at a disadvantage pretty soon. Yeah, because look at the kill and death ratio. Klaus, his pressure was pretty good. But as of lately... Hasn't been really working out and he's just been donating units to the cause of Murto. And Murto is about to take to regain control. As you see, Murto also not going for tanks, but rather going for APCs because they probably prove to be a lot more useful in terms of actually taking care of rifles just due to their crushing. Not really because they can shoot. Ooh, Klaus being on Radar Dome Tech doesn't have any army at this point. Can easily get overrun by Muto at this point. Oh, we see heavy tanks coming out. But he's going for a helipad though. And let's see what else he has in production. Yep, we're seeing RTs come into play. RTs and still Heinz back in the day. No Blackhawks to be seen. Okay, but Murto is going for some flax, so he's preparing himself to face the Heinz. And the flax were pretty good in the early days against aircraft, even more than today. Uh, because I believe later on their flak, their speed got nerfed. And in season one and in later seasons as well, they were able I think they had the same speed as aircraft, so when the flak was in range, it was impossible for the aircraft to get away, it just immediately lost it, basically. And there is the Hind coming into play, no longer in the current game. It is still in the debug mode, but it is no longer playable. Doing some decent damage to the ore track, but I don't really think that it's going to matter. Ooh, meanwhile we see a nasty flame raid coming down from the APCs in the back, taking out the radar dome. 
Oh, APC going for the crushes. The SD goes down. Now he's trying to take on the the, the Rax. Does a good job, but the Kmo pillbox gets dropped in time and takes out the flamethrowers. But that was a nasty raid, and that is going to give Muto an even more advantage than he already had. I think it's time. I think Myrto feels confident enough to make this happen. He needs to be careful. There are lots of camo pillboxes in play. Oh man. He really doesn't want to lose units like that. Oh wow. I believe that ref would have been a lot better over here, but maybe because of all the chaos. He's just pumping it down and there's a Tesla call coming down as well. Really good with this with this range for base pushing. It still is to to today, but was even better in the early days and it's exactly being shown here. Yeah, the Hind really cannot do anything with these flex controlling the territory. Class shifting to class. Class. It's really hard when you're talking easily. You know the Dutch pronunciation, but whatever. Class. Um, switch to turrets, but still struggling at this point. Murto should probably, yeah, shift his attention to the other side of the map, where it's. Kind of peaceful and quiet for Klaus up until this point. Two heavy tanks leading the charge. And at this point, they are pretty good for soaking still. So they are going to be able to take care of these defenses. And a huge threat is going to walk into that base. But still, lots of camo pillboxes are set up here. So let's see how, how this is going to work out. Meanwhile, the Hind has been just working on these harvesters. Look at that. Not looking good here. Murta doing a really good job with the base pushing here. Keeping his army safe. Taking out the base defenses with the Tesla coils. Oh, the oh my god, the light tanks with the crushes. But it isn't going to be enough to stop this army. And Murto is moving forward. And at the same time, his other army is really doing some damage. Taking out harvesters, rifts, and cleaning up this expansion. After lots of pressure from Klaus. It seems that Murto is now in total control here and is about to take out his opponent. Can Klaus recover? He still has some army and an artillery to keep them at bay. But yeah, even so, Murto is just going to crawl closer. Now has the axe support as well to take out the RTs behind enemy lines. But there's still a lot more. Meanwhile, Murto moving out his second MCV as well to take control over that patch. Man, the RTs are doing a decent job. Radar Dome gets sniped. No more radar technology for Murto for a while. And even though he has a really nice army lead, he's still a little bit hesitant. He's doing a really good job. Find almost died there. MCV from Klaus is on the run, luring them into the defenses. Teams, it seems like they're going to hold for now. At least, if he micros the cable pillbox to take out the rocket, that is... That's the bad boy. Man, these RTs are Klaus's last resort, basically. Trying to make this work again, but... He doesn't have all the defenses set up here to make it work on the other side and Murto can just pump out units because if I recall correctly, Klaus is, yeah, Klaus is close to being completely depleted. And 
and as soon as Myrtle gets access to that patch as well, then that means that Klaus basically doesn't have any eco to work with and soon will be completely overpowered. Ooh, MCV is getting caught, but look at that speed. MCV had a lot of speed in the early days and makes a safe escape. Oh, that's a lot of rockets, man. That, those infantry nearly only exist from rockets alone. And even though they're getting barraged by artillery, they don't give a fuck. And they're just going to take out all the harvesters and the ref over here. And I don't know about... Ooh, man, that was a nasty shot. With a nice AA gun, but... It's basically... I mean, it's go... I, I'm, I'm speechless, man. Like, Klaus is, can't do shit. Where's the GG? This is, this is catching me off guard. Did, didn't the GG exist? Was that a thing? Fight until the last man standing, something like that. Man, uh, if if I do something like that, I'll, I I can't do that, man. Okay, there it is, there it is. It seems like this man has more um, more hopes than I would have in in a real game. The moment I realized I fall behind, I was like, man, it's only gonna get worse from here. Fuck this shit, and I'm out. But regardless, that was still an entertaining match. Klaus put on some really good pressure in the early game, but at a certain moment in time, he should have stopped. And because that he did not do that, a lot of his units were thrown away in trying to accomplish something that did not work out. And after a while, Myrta was able to recover and take complete control of the first game. And the game crashed. What a nice timing. Let me fix this mess and let's go to game number two. All right, and we are back for game number two. I have fixed this ancient device for now. I have found it somewhere in a Soviet tech center and it had all these hidden files onto it. So maybe that is the reason it, it is about to die because it's been probably sitting there for about five years. Let's go to game number two that was played on singles. And like I said in the previous game, there was no official, there was no custom map pool basically for this game. God, look at the, look at the frame rate. This is, this is not, I swear you, this is not me guys, I swear. Regardless, we are here in game number two between Klaus and Murto, and we're playing on singles. Once again, explored map is off. And I, I, I guess it has to do with the fact that they felt back in the day that masters were expected to know all the maps. So therefore, explored map was off. I, I, I think that that's the, what, what the reasoning is. I'm not sure. Regardless, this is still, to this day, a very popular map among... I wouldn't say casual players, but less of the competitive players in the open array community, as I see this map still being popped up on servers to this day. And there's there seems to be a good reason to, as back in the day was played as a raggle map. So once again, Murto is sending over a dog. Let's see that the dog isn't addicted to going under wheels. But it's, he seems to really like it for some reason, I was about to say. Okay, let's see what Klaus is going for. Is he going for the Rex? No. Hmm. So both with the same greedy build here, Rex skip straight into War Factory. However, Murto did go for some dogs in order to get some scouting out and at the same time prevent himself from being completely destroyed if Klaus went for an infantry rush but he's doing the same greedy build going for a ranger and a nice base crawling here from Murto his ref placement is a lot better than Klaus at the moment so his eco will be a little bit better there's a the ranger taking out the doggo Murto not happy about that
Wait, why is it? Oh. That was weird. The ancient device didn't automatically recover the sound. APC is out for Murto. He did went for a harvester first, so once again his eco is going to be a little bit better. Oh, that was strange. The APC was already out. The door opened. Usually that means that a vehicle is ready and it can't come out because there's a unit taking, all, taking hold of the cell. But it seemed like it just lost the unit because the cell was occupied. I'm assuming that's not the case because we'll, we'll never know. Oh. Murto sold his Rex. A what? A why? Okay, well, regardless, send it. Oh my god. He's sending the APC over to do what the APC is best at. Yup, that's just taking care of your of your units by just driving over them pretty casually. This man does not care. As Klaus is now pumping out the rockets to make this a more even fight. Ooh, Klaus once again with double camo pillbox and camo pillbox requires a bit more power than the regular ones. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out for his, uh, for his power. Should probably, yeah, he's yeah, he's going to be forced to sell one. Oh no! Oh okay, didn't get blocked. Takes out the APC, and here comes Murto with his second MCV as well. Nicely done, has a ref ready. So you can see in terms of macro, I feel like Murto is a little bit more on the strong side here. Ooh, taking a very big risk here, but he is going to be stopped in time by Klaus here to deny this. That would have been huge for Murto early on to deny this whole middle patch from Klaus. But Klaus says, no, not going to happen. And there's Murto popping down a Tesla call, but he made a mistake not bringing over his infantry along with him. And is he going to get overrun here? He's moving back. He needs to keep the ref safe. If he wants to maintain his eco. Hopefully he has a flame tower ready to go. But Klaus definitely has the bigger force. Maybe he should use his harvester to do some soaking. Still four seconds. Yep, he did move over his harvester. There's the second M Wait, wow, he went he went for another mcv from the war factory i'm not sure about that but hey i wasn't there five years ago so amurto has done a good job so far so let's give him the benefit of the doubt Klaus still putting on the pressure with his medium tanks oh but here comes another tesla coil though Oh, and Murto opting to go for the rocket soldiers first to reduce the damage. And here comes that Rex, so now he can just pump out units straight onto the battlefield here, which is good. Meanwhile, Klaus has been base crawling over here, but I feel like he should probably move out his MCV soon, just to get a little bit more building range to keep on the pressure, because so far I feel... Once again, in the early game, he's doing a pretty good job of keeping the pressure onto Murto. I feel like Murto is going to come out on top. He has a strong fortification right now. Yep, and the Tesla call is pretty strong, especially on this map as well. It's very narrow over here, so it's easy for him to lock it down with Tesla coils. Alright, the waters are being scouted. So there's a high chance that we're going to see Navy... ...in this game. 
which is something that we never see happening anymore in the present time due to the fact that I feel I think naval has just been not touched that much and also I don't think that most of the community especially the commu competitive community for for regular events like these I don't think they really care about naval that much to make huge changes to it or to even pay attention to it in the first place but yeah maps like these it was possible and Therefore, naval units haven't been balanced that often. So, it is safe to say that some are pretty strong. Well, let's see how this is going to go. We have Murto going to tier 3 here and there's a sub pen coming out. What is going to be built? Is he just going to use normal submarines just to use them as permanent scouts? As they are pretty good for that in this map. But no, we aren't seeing any naval being used. Oh, there's the submarines coming out, as expected. We have an Iron Curtain being popped down. And Mr. Claus is also going to tier 3, but he has been pumping out artillery like the previous game. And I feel this map is also pretty good for artilleries. They are the perfect counter for the Tesla coils. And he has the AA gun set up. Oh, wow, he's going straight for the MCV. The RT will get... Yep, we'll get the, I mean, the, wow, the Yak will get the RT, but the AA gun will take it out as well. And there's a shipyard coming down from Klaas. Might be a teeny tad too late, though. Oh, there's the first destroyer. Not a bad choice to go for the destroyer actually first instead of a gun bolt. <laughs> well, that man just drowned. Doing some really good microing though. All of these shots are missing. And the destroyer on the other hand only can fire at the submarine when it comes above the water. Wow. Wait, did the mechanic just repair? <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, this is this is this is next level guys. Another one for the sea creatures. This is next level for sure. High level play. Meanwhile, Murto has just been pumping out shock troopers over here, enjoying his tier tree. And Klaus probably has so much. No, he does not. I was expecting to see a little bit more APM, but in the meantime. Murto has an A-bomb ready and an Iron Curtain that is almost ready to go. And I think he's setting up the play for it as well and we're probably going to see a pretty huge attack coming in. Build. Lots of camo pillboxes sitting here, AA gun set up, turrets. Is it going to matter though? Hmm, probably could have used the yeah, IC a little bit more efficiently, but I st yeah, it's still going to be really good. The infantry are going to catch up, but it might be too late. Like I said, it's going to run out by the time the infantry is about to arrive. However, I believe all of the artilleries have been cleaned up by the flax, so they pretty much have achieved their goal. And now Claw sending everything forward, that's not going to work against this giant blob with rocket soldiers, shock troopers, and rifles. This is a complete cleanup caused or sponsored by the IC, basically. What a battle so far, just one IC just completely dominated and now the defenses have been breached and Murto is behind enemy lines has an a-bomb setting up as well so he is completely fine with this situation right now as long as he can keep class occupied and at the same time he can still keep this safe then it's going to be really hard for class to do anything about it unless he goes for some something cheesy which could work Going to be clean up, lots of yaks coming into play from Murto as well, trying to control the skies. 
and take out a, take out all these RTs basically. Yep. Not looking good for Klaus here. He's being controlled by shock therapy right now. And most of the time it is being used in real life to bring people back. But Myrtle has different plans. Oh man, these two shock troopers eco rating is pretty good. Next IC is coming into play on three Tesla tanks. Only one RT to do the defending. Tesla tank is going straight for it, snipes it, and gives free reign to the infantry once again. Yeah, this is really good. That's the only thing that he wants to accomplish, because look at that. The RTs are really devastating and pretty effective versus shock troopers. But this is not looking good. Meanwhile, these two shock troopers still eco-harassing, vetting up like crazy. And I feel the end might be near. Camo pillboxes are still being pumped out. Most of the harvesters are idle, which means that Klaus is probably low on cash while Murto is just flowing in it, just like Dagobert Duck did. He's probably just swimming in a vault somewhere, probably over here, leading his army into victory. Very promising for Myrto once again. Surprised we haven't seen any mix. Um, seems like mix were really underused or maybe not that good. I'm not sure. Another small eco rate with the paratroopers. Pretty decent taking out the ref. This is the only patch that Klaus can use. Klaus just immediately selling. And I believe we are about to see. Yeah, almost another IC coming into play. 20 seconds remaining. Now Murto bringing over an MCV as well to gain more safe territory. There's the spy play coming in, giving him a clear view of the situation. He's like, oh, well, that's nice. This is going to be it. IC coming down. With a Tesla Coil on the other side to support him. Whoa, lots of camo pillboxes though. Tesla Coil needs to... It has high burst, but not that high DPS. And meanwhile, the IC units are just cleaning up all of the artilleries. That endangered the infantry. And there's Klaus calling the GG. And Murto taking a clean 2-0 lead over Klaus. Five years ago in Raggle Season 1. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. And as always, stay cautious. And I'll see you next time. Battle control terminated.